Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sweet Garden 2. This is Bandit Ryu. And Kurohana Shizumi. Still getting used to that intro. Doesn't really roll off my tongue yet. Yeah. Um, and we got a new enemy, the wolf. Well, that was very nice. Unite! Circus attack! Huh. Well, fuck me you then, shit! Bitch slap. Super fire! Yeah, that does an insane All amount of damage. All they do is help him, like, stay in place. It's great. Yeah. Being unbalanced for a turn isn't that bad. That fucking put me to half, so... Kinda don't wanna die. Over here we get... A firewall! That's a very big fire attack, obviously. Uh, in front of the form of scrolls. Scrolls are really good in this game. And we have some killer bee. Not like the first fucking game. First game, the killer bees were a pain in the ass at level 1. Bulgin took 0, so... But that's how I'm gonna deal with uh, single targets and group targets. And I get some flaming arrows. A lot of these I'm gonna want to equip, uh... At least as soon as Reno runs out of fuel. Okay, so we've got blade bunnies here, but um, your, your normal Unite fucking destroys them, so it's not too bad. I didn't really feel like showing that off. Also, uh, I dropped something. No, but they thought you seen blade bunnies. I know, I know, that's why I didn't cut out that fight. I cut out that fight. Well, I'm not going to attack the wolves anymore. I'm just gonna unite them. Yeah, don't physically attack those wolves because their counterattack is a pain in the ass. And obviously, as you can see, we have an inventory as well as normal fucking uh, item care. And from that last battle, I got a double beat rune. Yeah! That's gonna become. Pretty useful or later on. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it all the time, but oh, you know that was a treasure. Yeah, I just wanted to go back. I'm kind of wondering if my unite is actually lagging the game a little bit. I'm not sure. Okay then. Yeah, that's what I figured. And we get brass armor. That's infinitely better for Al. Yo. Eat a dick. Okay, second poll of the freaking video. What do you say it as? Rio or Rao? I want to know. Apparently, we can't change any of the people that we got to equipment, but... Wow, we got some new enemies. Bandits. I don't think they've joined you yet. I think they're just in your party. Yeah. Yeah, but we got those, uh... Flaming arrows. Let's try those out. If the Unite doesn't immediately kill them, but... Holla! Aww. They look like skeletons for a second. That's cool. Well, they did get burned alive. Not too surprising. They give really good money. So I recommend never running from them, even if you don't need to fight them. And another double beat rune, yay! And, uh... Is it just me, or is having a Unite attack at the beginning of the game really broken? Yeah, the Unite attack is just ridiculous. Even if it's one times I mean, hitting all the units on the enemy map is just too good. And very, very free for early game. And we get a Journeyman Crystal, so I'm gonna take a minute to heal up and I'll... Okay, I'm back. Uh, fully healed and ready to go. Hey, we're talking about that Mist Monster, so... Monster boss! There's nothing there! Wow, that is pretty. That is pretty for a PlayStation 1 game. There we go, Miss Shade! Alright, let's just go all out.
Flame Arrows, even though it's, you know, a base rune, it does pretty good damage. So yeah, I don't mind Bulgin getting unbalanced for this because he's going to be my healer for the most part. Yeah, that really hurt. Remember, at this point you only have like 72 HP. Let's have Joey heal for now. But, uh, we have those angry blows, so let's see what that does to the Nightshade. Yeah, much, much stronger. He'll constantly just keep attacking the front row, so it's not too bad. No, we're gonna take a minute to heal. Oh, he doesn't have a... Yeah, so... Front row, every other turn's probably gonna end up healing. Well, we keep casting magic. I don't think he'll ever attack someone consecutively, because otherwise that would be fucking terrible. And we now have a changed form. It is after all a wind cloud. It doesn't change your defense anytime, but it does change the way I'm going to call her. She does an AoE attack. Yeah, that hurt. Virtually, it's the same thing except they hit your back row. Let's just heal up for this turn then. And uh, she's still ready to go, so we might as well. You also notice that you have three rune slots uh, for this game instead of just the one from Suga to One. It's much easier to fight with multiple rune slots. There we go. Woo! And some people level up. Woo! And we get 2,000 pots and some kin kindness drops. You were gonna say kidness. No, yeah, I always call them kinesis drops for some reason. I don't remember why I did that, but yeah. Of course you are. The boulder is hungry. Anywho, let's uh heal Rena and Ellie there, and the rest of us are full health, and let's just continue on. Yeah, one random fight before I got out of here was mandatory, wasn't it? Okay. Come on. One last screen. That's probably how to get out. This is probably treasure. I lied. Two paths. Which path do I take? Fuck, this was the right way to go. Oh well. Nope. I gotta go back for the treasure! Leave no treasure ungotten. We are treasure hunters! I would pick the right path. I tend to. It's weird. And we get a feathered hat. That's a better head armor for all of us. Oh, good. Now Joey can put my bandana. Anything is better than nothing. <laughs> I was like, really? There's a wall in my way. And we get new enemies. Bon Bon. I think I may have already met up with these beforehand, but this I will tell. Like Cousins. Yeah. Fur yeah. furs. Oh yeah, that's probably what it was. We probably saw the fur furs already. Yeah, I can't remember which one was which. It doesn't matter to me. Anywho, let's just uh, get out of the Miss Valley now. 
I know it's not called Miss Valley, but that's what I'm calling it. You know, because of the Miss Spirit. Alright, I'm going to take a minute to, uh... Remove... Wait, hon, that's me. I like my medicine, actually. I'm going to take a minute to remove their accessories, because... Spoiler, they don't stay in my party for long. Not yet. Obviously, they're... they're I didn't mean that. They're obviously stars of destiny. Or very Whoa. important characters. Very important characters is better. They do have, you know, faces. That's always a good tell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not 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 just yet. They're not they're not with us just yet. Off to the west. I really like Bolgan. His character makes me smile. Alright, well, let's explore Cairo. Uh, they're in there. Don't want to go there yet. Yep. We were part of the Unicorn Brigade, so... Notice, it was Unicorn. Yeah, I bet. No, that can't possibly be true. And I helped him into it? Bullshit. And how am I a mean boy? That doesn't make any sense. Look, look at his face. He's like, oh, I didn't mean to. God, Cairo is much bigger than any opening town in new normal Swigaden games, but that's an estate. Let's not go there for now. I wonder what's in here. Can I steal any of these miscellaneous items? I like the flower pot. I like how they give all these descriptions for all the things that you can look at, but you can't actually take any of them. I would like to take them. Yes, I am. What about it? Oh, boxes. Like, literally, why is that there? It just does not make any sense. What? But, like, why? How does that come about? That doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, what? Like, why? Why would they say that? Especially because... I'm right there. Like, I don't know. It seems to me like they would kind of avoid saying that so that I wouldn't stick around and get captured. It's always bad signs, you feel me? All of them. I realized one of them. You you are like five. Please do not volunteer for the army. Uh, no, I, I'm good. I don't have runes, so it's not that big of a deal. You know, I think I believe my family is still here. Hey, it's a kobold. Ah, oh, hero, huh? I wonder if we'll ever hear anything more about that. Anyway, let's go uh, check out my house. So this way. But before going inside of my house. Well, no, I don't think it's the right way. I need to get to the back. Put it inside of it as punishment, is what that said, if you did not read that. That's pretty hysterical. Wow, this place looks like shit, <laughs> honestly. 
But hell, it's better than nothing. Hey, I know that music. Nanami! <laughs> I love the animation for this part. Give him a chance to speak, woman! Shit! Nanami! Why is it automatically assumed that I did something? Hell, thanks, Nanami! You assume I'm a spy! I mean... Really? She's so fucking violent! Sure, Nanami, sure. Genkaku, as you might have noticed in the opening sequence, was the owner of this dojo and therefore was their master, and also kind of like their father figure, or the Dumbledore of the story. The Dumbledore of the story. Yeah, the wise old man who nurtures, and takes in, and teaches them all the really cool stuff that they'll eventually learn to become heroes. That was Game Kaku, so he was awesome. Oh no, we got soldiers. Whatever will we do? Find out next time on Let's Play Swingle 2. This is Bandit Ryu. And Kurohana Shizumi. Sign